Alrighty, welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. We're here for another wrestling news video and we're going to be discussing Brandy Rhodes. Yes, Brandy Rhodes, the wife of Cody Rhodes. She may be hot as fuck, but she has zero brains and that is why we're here making this video. Now, she's actually come out with two statements in the last couple of days. We're, uh, we're definitely behind on the uh, the first statement so we'll talk about the second one first and get that over the way with because I feel like today uh, it was uh, more relevant when she said it so obviously as you may know Daphne passed away today and Brandy Rhodes chose I think the wrong time to come out and talk about suffering from terrifying postpartum depression, depression and anxiety um, she says, I tried to fight it or tell myself, hey, this isn't real stuff happening, calm down. And recently, I finally just gave in and said, you know what? I have postpartum depression for sure. I need to be cosmetic. I need to recognise it. Who the fuck wrote this? I need to recognise it. I need to reach out when I need help. I just need to take everything one day at a time. It is good to just talk about things. There's no shame in things changing in your life and it happens i feel like i was probably the least likely candidate to feel anything like this because i'm always so busy and so on the go i kind of just don't have the time for my emotions and i mean this is the Rhodes families making it about themselves everything has to be about the Rhodes family i can't stand them i really can't attention seeking bastards Yes, guys, attention-seeking bastards. So I, I just felt like that was untimely, her coming out of talking about depression and feeling this and feeling that. Just like hours after Daphne kills herself, it's almost as if she's trying to make everything about her. Now, speaking about making everything about her, the other day, the main reason we're making this video is Brandy Rhodes came out and tried to make everything about black wrestlers she came out and made a statement made a tweet saying this might start some poop emoji but let's talk i see a lot of people complaining on here that there aren't enough black talent featured in wrestling yet when black talent is out there busting it in the main offense and holding championships where's the love am i just missing it yeah you're fucking missing it because if you watch that other company you know the company that is 10 times better than AEW, the w w e you would see that they have featured a lot of black talent over the years so much for vince mcmahon being a racist that he currently has the most dominant raw champion we've seen in years and it is the destroyer bobby lashley and the last time i looked at bobby lashley's skin it looked black. It looked like black skin to me. So, looks like Raw has a black champion. What about on SmackDown? Who's the new face that they pushed? Who did they give the belt to at WrestleMania Night 1? Who were, What was the colour of the two women in the main event? Yes, Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair both were black women. And, Sa and Sasha Banks previously, arguably the biggest female star that they've, I don't care about Cringy Lynch or, you know, Rick fucking looks like a man, Ashley Flair. I don't care about them. I, I would argue that Sasha Banks has been the most pushed woman. You know, she is the boss and she's black. She's been pushed to hell of a lot. What about the New Day? Seven years now, six years, seven years, whatever it is, the New Day have been pushed mega as a tag team. Every time WWE does an article, they kiss the New Day's ass and claim they are the best tag team ever. So, and they're black, all three of them. Every single one of them. Not a white guy in the New Day. What about Kofi Kingston? He was even given a championship. <laughs> Kofi Mania. The guy sucks, but WWE gave him the belt anyway. They didn't they care about his colour. So I'm looking at WWE. I can see that they've got black. I mean, they even had, you had Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander in the, in, in the Hurt Business. You've got Big E. The current Money in the Bank briefcase holder. And he is black. Apollo Crews just brought out this new Nigerian gimmick. He held the IC belt for about six months. And guess what? He's black too. Unbelievable. But what if you look at AEW, what does AEW have? They've got a, a piece of hot black ass in Brandy Rhodes that isn't there anymore. But apart from that, what do they have? Sorry, Kiss. 
I mean, this guy looks black, but he also looks like a man and identifies as a woman. So maybe he doesn't even identify as black. For all we know, he could identify as white or, or, or anything. So, I mean, at Sonny Kiss, no, I don't think it's fair to... Um, you know, he's not really in the main offence. He's not a main offence talent. But Brandy Rhodes coming out here with a stupid statement trying to claim all borderline racism. And I felt like it was a, a dig at the WWE. But, I mean, in reality... Like, where has she been the last, like, you know, three, four years? I mean, black wrestlers have probably been pushed more than ever. It used to be a case of there just wasn't that many black wrestlers in WWE, but now, there's, I still wouldn't say there's that many, but they're getting pushed, and that is because they deserve to be pushed. I look at, you know, one of the best guys in the male roster, and it's Bobby Lashley, the to be champion. I look at the female roster, and undoubtedly Sasha Banks is, you know, one of the best uh, women on the roster, obviously you've got the new day, they are charismatic, so uh, yeah, I mean, if you're good, you'll normally get pushed, it doesn't really matter about skin colour, even if Triple H did bury Booger T at Wrestlemania 19, but uh, Brandy Rose, before she starts talking shite, she, maybe she should look at her own company a little bit closer, and by the way, she did go on to delete this tweet, and anyone who deletes something, that is normally a sign that they're in the fucking wrong, so yeah, but uh, Brandy Rose. You might be hot, but uh, that's about it. I mean, that's about as good as it gets for you. I mean, you're good to look at, but uh, that's it. Like, really, um, yeah, go and do some more, you know, naked poses or some, do some photo shoots and stop tweeting. Put the phone down unless you're unless you're going to take, like, naked selfies or something and send them to my uh, my number. Then I would suggest, Brandy Rhodes, that you put your phone down. But anyway... That is it, guys, for this video here on Fog Wrestling. Try to bang out these wrestling videos on a daily basis, 24-7. Just like the WWE 24-7 title, but only <laughs> these videos are a shitload better than that, guys. Also, our truth look at another black guy. Wow. And uh, Reggie, current WWE 24-7 champion, another black guy. Jesus Christ. It's raining black guys here, guys. It's raining black guys. Hallelujah. It's raining black guys. Yeah, anyway, guys, that is it. <laughs> That's it for this video. Till next time. Peace.